Well, howdy! This podcast is a proud member of the PodCon Go Network. PodCon Go. Family-friendly shows that are fun for everyone. Welcome to Elderberry Tales. Grab as many rocks as you can carry. It's time for a story. Today's story is Weighing the Elephant, a Chinese folktale. A long time ago, people who lived in China knew that a strange, amazing beast called an elephant lived in a faraway land, but no one had ever seen one. One day, a ruler from India came to see the emperor of China. He brought a gift, and that gift was a real, live elephant. Never in China had anyone seen anything like it. As soon as the royal guest left, it was all anyone at court could talk about. This elephant is bigger than a water buffalo, said one Mandarin. Are you kidding? said a second. It's bigger than a rhino. You must be joking, said a third. This elephant is bigger than two rhinos. One day, the emperor said to his mandarins, I want to know how much this amazing elephant weighs. Who can tell me how to weigh it? I can, said the first Mandarin, who used to be a merchant. We will just put it on a scale. Not likely, said the emperor. There's no scale that could hold the weight of an elephant without breaking. I can tell you, said the second Mandarin, who used to be a tailor. He said, we will measure the elephant. No said the emperor with a sigh. Even if you measured all the different parts of the elephant, you would still not know how much it weighs. I can tell you, said the third Mandarin, who used to be a baker. We will cut up the elephant and cook it. Then we will know. We will surely not do that, roared the emperor. Is there no one who can tell me how to weigh the elephant? Then a small voice said, I can. All eyes turned to the voice. It was the emperor's son. Son, said the emperor, you should be in bed. But I know how, said the boy, and we won't need to cook it first. Very well, said the emperor with a smile. Tell me how to weigh the elephant and the boy described just what to do. Can you think of a way, too? Think for just a minute and see what you can come up with. Well, here is what the boy said. You put the elephant in a big boat and take the boat out onto the water. Draw a line on the side of the boat where it meets the water, at the watermark. Then, bring the boat back to the shore and take the elephant off the boat. Put rocks on the boat, one by one. When the boat sinks to the same watermark line it had when the elephant was in it, bring the boat to shore again. Take out the rocks and weigh them, one by one. That is how you can tell how much the elephant weighs. Wonderful, wonderful, shouted everyone. It will work, called out the first Mandarin. What a clever plan, said the second. Who knew this child would know, said the third. And the fame of the emperor's son traveled far and wide. Sometimes children have amazing ideas. 
this story is just one example of how creative and resourceful kids can be. It's nice to have a kid around when you're trying to think outside the box and solve a problem. I chose this story today because it's short and funny and interesting and kind of inspiring. But there's another reason why I wanted you to hear this story this week. Because coming up at the end of this week is the Chinese New Year, the Lunar New Year that's celebrated in countries all around Asia. And I thought it would be great to have a story from Asia and from China specifically to share with you this week. Do you celebrate the Lunar New Year where you live? It isn't a holiday I celebrated as a child, but I have so many neighbors here where I live who did celebrate this growing up, and it's fun to share in their traditions with them. This year coming up in 2021 is going to be the Year of the Ox. And if you want to celebrate this new year, there's plenty of things that you can do at home, like eating really long noodles, or watching fireworks, or giving a red envelope with a little bit of money in it, or any other gift to your special friends and relatives. The Lunar New Year happens on a different day every year because it's tied to the moon. Lunar means moon, and the new year always starts with the second new moon after the winter solstice. This puts it right between the solstice and the spring equinox, and for many people, it's a sign that spring is coming. Winter is coming to an end, and we will soon have fresh greens and flowers all over the place. There are even a few flowers springing up in my yard today, as well as some beautiful fresh green leaves. I'll tell you a secret. This is my favorite time of year. I love all the seasons. But finding these first early signs of spring is probably my absolute favorite part of the year. Whether there are signs of spring where you live, or if it's still winter, or if you're in the southern part of the world, it's still summer. Whether you celebrate the Lunar New Year with your own family or not, I hope you have a wonderful week. This story, Weighing the Elephant, is a traditional Chinese folktale, and this version is retold by Elaine L. Lindy for her website Stories to Grow By. Thank you to Elaine and the team at Stories to Grow By for making so many stories available for us to share with you here on Elderberry Tales. And thanks to you for listening to Elderberry Tales. I'll see you next week.